Hey guys, it's Steven and Ellie the Chihuahua here. We upload new videos every Sunday on the Relax My Dog YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I wash and clean Ellie. So if you want to learn more, keep on watching. Now the first question you probably ask is how often should you clean your dog? I clean Ellie about once a month, or if she's been on a really long walk and she's really mucky, I'll probably clean her then as well. But otherwise, once a month is great. She's a very clean dog anyway, she likes to clean herself a lot of the time, she's a bit like a cat. But a bath once a month, just make sure that she doesn't ever smell, have a doggy smell, and she's nice and hygienic. Many people wash their dogs in the sink, which is fine, but I've always washed Ellie in my bathtub. I do this because I have easy access to my shower head with flowing water which just makes it easier for me. Before washing your dog, make sure you find the perfect water temperature. You don't want to shock them with water that's too hot or too cold. Spend a little time allowing your dog to get used to being in the bath and interacting with the water so they feel more relaxed. Then start slowly applying the water from the back of your dog. Don't drench them right away, doing it slowly keeps them relaxed. You'll notice I'm not putting the water above Ellie's neck, I'll tell you why later. Get yourself some doggy shampoo from your local pet store. I'm still using Ellie's puppy shampoo because it doesn't irritate her skin at all, plus it's taken me forever to get through it all. Apply a small amount to your hands, then lather them up. This will make the shampoo less cold and ensure you apply it more evenly to your dog's fur. Rub the shampoo into your dog's fur up to the neck. Make sure you support them well so they don't slip. You want to clean both the top and bottom of your dog. Ellie gets very dirty on her belly and legs when out walking, so I always make sure this area is well covered. Then, rinse your dog to ensure all of the shampoo is washed away. Chihuahuas get cold very quickly, so you don't want them to be stood wet for too long. Also, just bear in mind that a dog's natural instinct when wet is to shake, so you may find yourself getting sprayed with water at some point. Now, I'm going to clean Ellie's head using cotton balls. Apply a little water, then squeeze out any excess. The reason I don't put Ellie's head under the shower is because Chihuahuas especially have very sensitive eyes and ears. If water is in Ellie's ears, bacteria can easily build up and give her an infection. I gently clean Ellie's tear stains, then wipe the top of her head, before gently cleaning the inside of Ellie's ears. Me and Ellie have done this many times before, so she's very used to the routine. But just bear in mind that this could be stressful for your dog if you're doing this for the first time without any practice. And we're done! Towel dry your dog as soon as they come out of the shower. As I said, chihuahuas get cold very quickly, so I make sure she's dry as soon as possible. Always allow your dog to shake, as it's the most effective way for them to dry themselves. They can actually shift 70% of the water from their bodies doing this, which is pretty impressive if you ask me. If you have a long haired dog, you may consider drying them with a hair dryer like I do. I use a very low heat and direct the flow of air downward with the direction of Ellie's hair. Again, me and Ellie have done this many times, so she's very used to the routine. Once dry, I comb a dog's hair with a doggy comb to remove any knots and make her hair silky smooth. And we're done! She's super fluffy, clean and happy. Ellie is lovely and fluffy now and she's silky smooth. It smells really nice and she's lovely and uh, lovely and clean. Camera ready. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when we're going to be uploading our next video. I'd like to know what kind of dog you have and how often you clean them. If you do anything different to me, please let me know in the comments down below. Give me some tips, give me some advice. Love reading and learning new things. Otherwise, we'll see you next Sunday. Say bye, Ellie. Bye.